Hello, everybody. Jason Hall here. So um, I was hanging out in a lab just a minute ago, and this idea popped in my head because they were talking about don't be afraid of getting out there on social media, and I've put videos out there. But I, I, an idea kind of sparked in my mind, and I was thinking about this idea that it's cool and good to create polarity. A lot of people are fearful of negativity and fearful of putting out a video or putting out content because they're afraid, like people might not like me or people might not like my message or they're afraid of negativity or people putting them down or bad mouthing them or whatever. So, um, and I was thinking, well, if you use um, the idea of electricity in electricity, power, a lot of times we associate the word power with electricity, but personal power, the same thing, This, if somebody being electric, this act of being electric or having an electric personality or being magnetic or whatever, magnetism, electricity, all of these things require polarity. Without polarity, without duality, without pol polar opposites, they can't, they don't exist. You take away polarity positive and negative charges and you balance them out, there's nothing. If you are vanilla, you're nothing. And if you're vanilla in the marketplace and business, you're nothing. If you're targeting everyone, you're targeting no one. And so polarity creates power. You have to create, be willing to create polarity, which means you have to be willing to take a clear stand on who you want as a client and who you want to be with and who you want to work with and what people you choose to be your friends and who you want to listen to and put that out there. And when you create that polarity, you then have power. Now, if you're struggling and constantly in a place of feeling not powerful, and sometimes I feel like not powerful, I feel stuck, I feel frozen, I feel trapped. And when I'm, when I'm in that space, Usually I'm too broad. I'm not thinking how can I really focus on this one thing or on what I want and create some polarity in this moment. And so don't be afraid of the haters. Be willing to create some polarity. Create the polarity and be willing to piss people off. Be willing to screw things up. Be willing to go on camera without having shaved your neck. You know, whatever. Be willing to do what what you want to do and just go out there and put out your message and create polarity and piss people off. If you piss off the wrong people, that's great because they won't become your clients. They won't waste your time. They won't steal your energy. They won't sap your time, energy, and resources. And if you create polarity, you're going to attract more of specifically who you want. You can't attract who you want unless you get clear on who you want specifically. You target them effectively and create that polarity and put that message out there and be willing to break a few eggs, step on, uh, I don't know, step on toes, whatever, so that there's that polarity there. And then you will have this magnetism. You will have this ability to draw people in that you do want and that do like you because it doesn't, you don't want customers. You don't want clients. You don't want friends that, um, that have money and that can give you just that. Like that's not really what you want. And ultimately what you want is customers, clients, friends that believe the way that you believe. And the only way you can do that is putting your beliefs out there, putting out your message, putting out your ideas out there, being willing to have an opinion. Because when you share these things, when you put that out there, th then you can start attracting the type of people to you that resonate with your message. If you aren't willing to have an opinion, put out there your beliefs, put out the things, because people don't buy what you do, Simon Sinek says. Great book, Start With Why. He says, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. They buy into you, they buy into your beliefs, your mindsets, and who you are. And so if you have a belief that business should be run a certain way, and you have a belief that certain values are important in a business, the, People with similar beliefs will want to work with you. And people don't just buy, like for example, in, in website design or in property management um, services and coaching and stuff or, or in reputation stuff for the different businesses that I run. People, I don't want clients that just want this service. I want clients that believe what I believe or have similar values. For example, type of client I don't like working with. People that are overly price sensitive, really pushy 
on price from the get-go. Their mindset is just, I want everything at the cheapest dollar possible. These don't make great clients. Why? They don't see good value in what you offer. They don't see anything unique or different about what you offer. And so if you're competing just on price, then you start just lowering price and being the cheapest price out there. And then you attract the shittiest clients. And that's a painful place to be. So be willing to polarize, be willing to create um, polarity so that you can attract and be magnetic. It's simple law of the universe. Electricity cannot exist. I've got my charger here, charging iPads and computer and stuff. That does not work. Computers don't work. Light bulbs don't work. Nothing related to power and electricity or current or magnetism works if there isn't polarity. The earth has polarity. Our bodies energetically have polarity. Everything has polarity. Does your marketing message and who you are have polarity? If not, you probably feel numb, you probably feel bored, you're probably tired, you're probably, why? Because you're living in a space of feeling trapped, scared, fearful of hurting people's feelings, opinions, and whatever, and you've created a self-made prison by avoiding polarity. So I'm going to share a great principle, a great idea about peace. Usually they want peace right? And there's two types of peace. There's the fake bullshit type of peace. And I like to compare this to the stagnant puddle on the ground. Imagine a big puddle after rain. It's stagnant. It's been sitting there for, for maybe a day and it's got bugs and bacteria. Would you want to drink that water? It's placid. It's peaceful. There's nothing going on there, right? That's the, pe the fake peace of, of just... Uh, I'll just do back off and not create polarity and be nice and, and create that. That's the, the peace that nobody wants to drink from because if you drink that water, how much peace will you feel internally? Not a lot, right? You're going to have the runs. You're going to be sick, whatever, right? So now if you look at a raging river, a raging river, water's getting bashed on the rocks. It's getting filtered through these rocks, through gravel, this natural filtration process. It's a nat, or the water eventually is coming through after going through the rocks and stone and everything, and it's a natural spring. This water has sometimes a positive bacteria, probiotic elements. It is sweet to the taste. It is healthy. Um, it can improve your digestive system. This, this water of peace is created through conflict. And so this idea of creating polarity, I want you to also know this principle because I'm all about principles. It's my why. My personal why is to inspire others to love true principles. So peace comes, true peace comes through conflict. And if you're not willing to have conflict, when it's in, when it's necessary or when it's important you're, or you're avoiding conflict, then you won't have peace. Another example um, from uh, one of my favorite authors, J.J. Dewey, is he said that um, he used that uh, that example, the water one, and then he also used an example of um, the Civil War. So how much peace would there be in the United States if we didn't have the Civil War and we didn't North didn't uh, beat south and we he didn't abraham lincoln didn't push to solidify the union and keep the union together and we he's like let's just have peace guys and let's just keep the north and the south separate let's just do that and we would still probably be at war with north and south there would still be tension we probably have a big wall like east and west berlin or something and there would be barbed wire so he pushed through the conflict and in relationships, again, you need to be willing to have, take a stand, create polarity, and move through the conflict so that you can have greater union and greater peace instead of stay separate and maintain fake peace, right? So that's my insight for today. Hopefully this was some good information for you, but polarity creates power. Power only exists from polarity. Jason Hall with Open Potion for website design and marketing services online. And if you want your small business to level up and gather kudos for uh, property managers that are wanting to transform their business, coaching, marketing, sales, systems, everything. Um, and 
uh, gather kudos for any small business that's wanting to level up their reputation, get better feedback. It's a really simple tool, really cheap, and it's a, it's a game changer. So I'm out.